Hello everyone, Singulator here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We can go rob us a train. Before the O'Driscolls get there. When riding with the gang, double tap X to move up the formation. Let's okay, ask to double back. All of you, according to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Like a well-oiled machine. Uh, I don't think Micah's going to be with us much longer. I think I said that in the first episode, but he's a loose cannon. He's going to fuck it up somehow. I bet. I bet. He seems the type. Cinematics are really good. Some nice shots. I like the soundtrack too. It reminds me of uh, the first Red Dead. Finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No wow, mistake. look at that view. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Oh, shit's about to go down. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Alright, let's go see old Bill Williamson. Look, guess I better leave my horse here. How oh, there he on? is. Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator.
Uh, Denny's over here. All right. Okay, so we've got to set it all up. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Alrighty. Could, could you stop shitting everywhere, Jesus horse? Let's go, boy. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Right, let's not go running. <laughs> let's not go running into any more trees. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. We're supposed to have something in particular up. Includes you, Arthur. Set closed with our oh, oppressive. Doing this, Arthur, just pull up. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to put a thing on your bandana. So close if I press out, right? Oh, for God's sake. Bandana, right. Cover your face, Arthur. I'm trying, it's not letting me. Select close with the R and press L2 R2 to cycle the mask. Right, release L1 to equip. Fuck Jesus. Why did it. I did that several times. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Yep, I'm going to the back of the train. Come on, Lenny. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. Come on, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him?
this. Well, aiming L2, press R3 to enter Dead Eye. Okay, cool. Yeah, just give me a second. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. What is wrong with you boys? No, no! That's how you want to do it? Thank you. moving up. How are you doing that? I'm okay. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. If we don't stop this train soon, yeah, all right, I want it. Shut the hell up, Jesus. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's all right, I got him. Move up. Oh, what a time to reload, Jesus. Fellas. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now, Here light the go. fuse. 
<laughs> oh, this is so cool. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Let's see if this door works. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> God, did he get? Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> Ooh, got a letter. What does it say? Kid, pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did James good. Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of that. exploration at the Wapiti Indian okay. res Reservation. See if we can get this open. And Barino, as agreed to the as agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Leyland Oil Development there. Company, dated November the 9th, 1898. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, head of accounts. Okay, fair enough. Anything on the other side? No. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish Another letter? Indies. What's this one to say? Sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. Dear Leviticus, thank I you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Annisburg are simply fake and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ellensburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to your correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? Yeah. Just give me a second, will you? I am investigating. There must be something. How's it looking in there? Got another card. Jerry Jack cigarettes. Harry to Beatrice Woods. Huh. Not really sure what the point of these are, but meh. Search cabinet. Cigars. Right this side. Now this looks like something. Ooh. A locked box. Ooh, a bug. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <laughs> Wait, was that it? Get back to the gang. All right, hold on. Oh, definitely take that brandy. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. All right, what do I do with them then? Oh, there. 
Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Go on. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. All right. You got anything for me? 62 cents, you cheap fucker. All right, let's get this train on the move. Doing a bad day's work. Killed some guys, got some bearer bonds. Life is good. Well, as, as good as it can be in the wild, wild west. So, are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> well, this is nice. I like this. The scenery and everything is really nice. But again, I'm weird. I prefer snowy cold weather to hot, sweaty weather. Surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Well, ain't that nice? To match, match, match the speed of the caravan. Alrighty. Hold R1 to decelerate. Get us out the stream. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. There. See? You 
ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, hello. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. <laughs> Too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Okay, so we can. Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold. Oh, right, so you can right. chase the house on the map or the compass. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> so... What happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. Yep. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know... Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. That's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, 
You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Wherever that is. Herbs. If you proceed to replenish your cores, a variety of flowers can be found throughout the world by picking them to learn about their properties. Okay, so we've got the uh, flower picking thing again. Annoyingly, because I'm recording this with the Elgato, there's a big red record sign over most of where the writing is, so it's covering a big deal of it. But it's probably nothing important, so... I did catch the bit where he said you've got to wear clothes appropriate for the weather, so... Once we get to, uh The next point... We'll probably call this an episode, and then... Jesus, how long is this going to go on for? Head in there, follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Oh, we're here. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Good, good. We could all do with a rest after. <sighs> Damn logs. Come on. Howdy ho, peeps. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so <laughs> would you just look around you this world has its consolation <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know see if i can strike up a little business of course herr strauss I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the calf gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here, 
I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> Sleep, shave, or change clothes at your... Alright, cool. Chapter 2. Horseshoe Overlook. Excellent. A couple of weeks later. Excuse me. Got off the mountain, and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. All right. Oh, Jose. Right. <laughs> Quite a day. Eat, drink, and Let's rest to maintain so. your There's cause. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and be sure to ding that bell icon to stay notified of any future uploads. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.